Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk, a discussion about all things automotive. I'm Corey. And I'm Matt. And each week this podcast will serve as a catalyst for discussion on all sorts of topics that grind our gears, rev our engines, or just need a bit more conversation. And you know, one episode was just not enough to talk about how awesome the Texas Auto Riders Spring Event, the 2021 Texas Auto Roundup, truly was for us as just gearheads who love speed and love internal combustion and a little EVs. Mm. And it, 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 it was a great event, not only for us, but for all involved. And this week we have the privilege of sitting down with the VP of events, whose baby this event was yeah. uh, Tia Collier from DallasSingleMom.com. And uh, we had a very fun, very long, but very fun conversation with her that meandered from Rolls Royce to F-150 to Hyundai Venue to ID4. And yes, all, all the things. It, it was fun just to see a different perspective on the event from the organizer's point of view and seeing a little, you know, behind the curtain, exactly what goes in to make all these rigs show up at Texas Motor Speedway <laughs> yeah. for, you know, burnouts, Matt, and track events. And, I don't know why and, you keep picking on me about that. Because I'm jealous. <laughs> 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 you got away with it. I, I think you were the first or second person to drive that vehicle that day. So they hadn't quite worked out all the what you can and can't do. So uh, kudos to us for being... You know, the early bird gets the worm, I guess. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> or in this case, gets to smoke the tires. Yeah. So, yes, uh, this this was truly an awesome event, and we are very grateful. We actually got to sit down with her on location yeah. in between driving days for us. So we were hanging out after hours at the hotel that had all of the event guests at it, and we drew a little bit of a crowd. It, it was fun to experience that a little on location recording we're very grateful for the marriott for putting us up very grateful for texas motor speedway we're very grateful for blink charging and all the sponsors that made this event happen on many different levels and all the oems that showed up and oh, yeah. rigs. it was a very expansive lineup uh, that like I said, I, I just don't know how and when you would ever see a Hyundai venue parked next to a Rolls Royce Ghost. Like, uh, yeah, that that's essentially where we were. Yeah, and we got to drive. Granted, we didn't make it to the Ghost, uh, but we got to drive a, a good chunk of vehicles, and we're we were very excited about that. So, why don't we bring on Tia and just see a little bit more from her perspective what it takes to put on a Texas Auto Riders event. And we're looking to join it. Speaking of Texas Auto Riders Association, we have the VP of events sitting down with us. Yeah, we're going to so, talk her up as much as we can. <laughs> yes. So uh, very glad to have Tia joining us. Hello, hello. Of, uh, let's see, DallasSingleMom.com, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll let you plug all of your... Oh, all of my... You all do of, lots of all things. things. It's very exhausting to think <laughs> about all the stuff that you're involved in. I am everywhere, okay? I'm everywhere. That's, yeah. That's my goal. World domination. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere is where I plan to be. Um, a girl's got cars. Yeah. Okay. I've been on Drive Mode Show. Okay. Nice. I've done D Magazine. Okay. I've done Washington Post. Oh. Um, nice. Edmonds. Okay. okay. I just where wherever you'll take the content. Yeah. Let's share the love. Yeah. Absolutely. So in here. Yeah. Here now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yay! GT Garage Talk. Add that to the list. I'm sure this is the pinnacle of. of <laughs> All of it, right? Y'all gonna be all over my LinkedIn tomorrow. <laughs> I appreciate okay. it. You're I welcome. appreciate it. So, first off, thank you so much for the work that you have put into this event. So, this is my second Tawa event. This is Matt's first Tawa event. And Blown we, away. We, yeah. Amazing. Okay. We have officially determined that the word for GT Garage Talk for this event is nuts. Everything <laughs> is nuts. Yay. Yeah. yeah. It's. Uh, uh, 
the phrase it goes that uh, do what you love and you never work a day in your yes. life. That that's what a day like today is. Yeah. And I know it is tons of hard work on you and the rest of the Tawa board to get an event like this put together. Oh. Uh, but it is much appreciated. Oh, and yeah. we were just going through the content that we've created prior to sitting down to record this podcast uh -huh. and just the content that we were able to get from this one day of driving has been amazing been for us. Awesome. So, so what our goal was is to create a space where you can get in touch with some awesome vehicles. Yeah. Get contacts so you right. can be like, hey, friend. Yeah. Hey. Remember me? <laughs> we did that thing. We did that thing together. <laughs> yes. You know, you know that really, really fabulous car that like cost more than my house. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back. Yeah. Come yeah. on back. And then bring people who they've never met who should be on their radar and be like, look, this guy is awesome. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, hey, friend. <laughs> and then make all friends. Yeah. Yes. That's the goal. And since, so my first Tawa event was last fall. It was a Texas truck rodeo, and I'm already <laughs> I'm already salivating for Do the next one. Do you realize it's no going to be awesome? Yeah. Oh, Do you man. realize it's going to be awesome? Because, haha, -ha, freight won't be stuck at port. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. I figure if we're going to spend time together and we're all going to sit right. down and be like, look, I got to get a babysitter for two days because, hello, that's my life. <laughs> um, it better be worth it. Right. And today was worth it. Yes. Oh, man. Today was worth it. It was. Truck Radio. It's going to be guys, amazing. So excited. Guys, like the stuff that is stuck in freight that's coming that is like, we'll be here like May, June. So by right. October, it'll already be in fleet. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She she's making me want October to come even I sooner. Know. Like I know it's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it. Oh yeah. So I know for this event as a board member and especially as the VP over the event, you were kind of busy working the event, and I I saw you all over the place today, taking pictures, uh, talking to people, talking to OEMs, talking to journalists, and things like that. Mm -hmm. I want to get your opinion on some of the cars that were here. Okay. So, uh, most insane car. Insane car? Yeah. The Karma GS6. Really? Yeah. The, the blue on that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. And the, and that the brakes match. Yes. The paint job. Yes. I was like, hello, friend. Yeah. Come on. I was, he was like, do you want to drive it and park it here? I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. Perks you, it. You being a board member, right? <laughs> no yeah. kidding. You don't need to have to ask me twice. He's like, <laughs> so he just like, you want to park it? I was like, like. Like, of course. <laughs> and so he turned it off, got out the car, put the keys in my hand. I was like, is it on? And he's like, no, it's off. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, crap. <laughs> Didn't make myself look great there. <laughs> and so my daughter was with me and she's 15. And yeah. so, of course, when you're 15, you think your mom is a fun crusher. And that's literally the word she uses for me. <laughs> I'm the fun crusher. But she's wicked smart yeah. and she's delightful. She was here last night yeah. and she stuffed all the goodie bags for people. Awesome. She's like, mom, people need drive snacks. They can't just sit there and look at cars. I mean, they're going to get bored. And I was like, they're not going to get bored. <laughs> Trust me. We did not get bored. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> she was no. like, they're going to be bored. I was like, oh, they're going to be bored. And so we, put, we literally sat in my hotel room and stuffed snacks. Kristen came yeah. and Alex came and they just, we were all stuffing snacks in a bag because awesome. we're those people. Yeah. And we got over and then the cars were lined up in the garage, right? Yeah. So this is my second time at Texas Motor Speedway, like not sitting in the audience. Right. So my first time was last week and I couldn't help fangirling. I was yeah. Like, ha, ha. Absolutely. So like I walked, drove up to the gate and I'm in like this big A truck this yeah. week, right? <laughs> and it was like massive. And I was like, crap, if I take the side view mirror <laughs> off this, they're <laughs> I'm never going to get a vehicle again. Okay. Matt and I were joking about that with the Escalade trying oh, to yeah. thread the needle. You know, when you're like going through that thing on it, but then I like, it's like, ah. yeah. Oh yeah. So, so came through it and I'm looking, I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. So you've got fleet and you've got transport and they were unloading vehicles. And I was like, holy crap, we live Good Lord, a privileged life. Yes. Right? And she goes, Mom, your job is, like, not boring. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, way to take Wait. me at the knees. <laughs> the ultimate backhanded compliment. Right? right? Can I get that on record? Is, <laughs> no. Let me record exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> she goes, your job is, like, not boring. And I was like, true story. You know? <laughs> so we get out, you know, and, like, 
the one of the managers was stuck because he came from somewhere else. So they drove that car from California to come oh visit, come be here yeah. for us. Wow. And he was like, look, I'm on this highway and like there's a thing and I think it's a beaver, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're a buggies. It's going to be fine. Yeah. And he, I was like, go in and go get a coffee because, you know, they got like a big coffee yeah. bar. Oh, yeah. And he was like, really? <laughs> Trust me. I was like, trust me, it's worth it. He's like, there's this cinnamon smell that goes in there. I was like, wait till you get to go Bass Pro Shop. It's going to yeah. be awesome. Yeah. And he was like, well, whatever. All you do is eat. Every time I talk to you, <laughs> all you do is eating. And Welcome like, to Texas. It's what we do. That's right. So we get there, and then, like, I got him in, and then the guy from our one of our sponsors was behind me. So I had, a, like, four cars behind me and this big truck, right? Yeah. And I was like, look, the guys, they're going to take your ID. They're going to ask you to sign your name. Come on in. I promise you'll get He's like, it's not going to let me in. I was like, it's going to let you in. It's going to be fine. Come on. I'm waving you in. Come yeah. in. So there's me and this truck that I'm in. I'm like, it's taller than me. Right. Okay. So I had on like flip flops in, which yeah. fair warning on like the little thing that comes down. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Make sure your foot is all the way on there. Yeah. I said, all right, let's do this. So we get there and I'm waving them in and waving them in. And then I look at it and I was like, Holy crap. Yep. Yes. Okay, because like I've been stalking them for weeks. Right. Okay, and there's like some others I've been stalking. They're like, oh, we're yeah. coming for truck rodeo, we're coming for truck rodeo. I was like, okay, I'm holding you to that. I'll like publicly hold you to that. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so we get there and we roll it in, and then the cars are lined up like Skittles, okay? Yeah. Like candy shining in the sun. And the fleet managers are, like, spraying them down, and they're wiping them off by hand. And I was like, that's a lot of love, mm. okay? Because yes. I'm not wiping anybody's car down by myself. <laughs> right. I will pay my kid. <laughs> and be like, you lose the squeegee thing, okay? Wipe it down. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that one, beautiful. Um, I'm a big SUV fan because, hello, yeah, I got three kids. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. Nobody's knees need to be in the back of my seat because, right. like, I'll be that person be like, Y'all can't see my eyebrow, but it's an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing this. Um, RAV4 Prime. Yeah. Dude. Did you drive it today? Not yet. That's still on our hit list. Yeah. So uh, Redline Reviews, mm -hmm. they went and purchased one for their long-term channel. That is, that is his personal vehicle, and he, he loves choice. it. He, uh, he When he had the Mach-E, he compared them side by side. And he had a lot of fun with the Maki in the snow up there in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So, uh, Sofian, if you listen, uh, come on our show. <laughs> come on down. I will debate the Maki with you. I yeah. loved it. Like, yeah. I had it here in Texas. When, remember when we had that crazy freak yes. storm that yes. was, like, bonkers? <laughs> oh, yeah. And we were like, dude, what, what the heck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And we were like, yeah, friend, like, like it's actually <laughs> freezing outside. Okay, so the Maki is amazing. Let's just... Let's just say that, okay? okay? It's like a game changer from that brand. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. We had lots of green vehicles, pretty much a spread across it. Of course, we had the Ghost. Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a big daddy. Like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, it's huge. So that Rolls Royce <laughs> Ghost, I think out of all the vehicles, has been the most elusive because we've been trying to get it all day long, and it was always claimed. Uh, so, yeah. Always claimed. So there are only five that are free to drive in the country just wow. in general right so it was a sheer beautiful relationship tie that absolutely said, hey you know what you know you love us right <laughs> come on down to Texas. <laughs> you know you love us right it's yeah. gonna be fun come oh, on yeah. down yeah you know we got like <laughs> box lunches <laughs> They were good. It was yeah. a good roast beef sandwich. Roast beef sandwich. Yeah. I had roast beef too. Yeah. Okay, but still, it'd be like, it's a ghost. Right. And, and then I got in and I was like, hi, friend. You, <laughs> I've, I've waited for you for so long. Um, you could live that life? I could live that life. Yeah. So this was my second time on the track. So usually on the track, I usually have a driver. Okay. They will offer you time to drive by yourself. Okay. I've been that person who's like, look, friend. Look. Look. Like. Like, I got to drive like Daisy, okay? <laughs> I'm like, it's not my vehicle. <laughs> I don't want to jack up somebody's car. <laughs> so, Especially, like you said, something more than your house. Yeah. So That's I've had, just like, insane. they've dropped some. So let's, let's rewind. I've been driving cars for the last 
seven years. Okay. okay. So my neighbors, I live in a ruralish town in Mesquite, like Texas, yeah. Mesquite, yeah. which is awesome. I love it. It's outside of Dallas. But my neighbors have figured out when delivery date is. <laughs> okay. So like my neighbor who lives across the street, she was like, so you have these men waiting outside your house and they're always in a car. Are you the mafia? I was like, I'm not the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the mafia. She's like, you do a website. And I was like, the website is a real websites are real things. Yeah. Right. So we walked through how to do Facebook. Yeah. And I showed her how to like my <laughs> how to like my page. <laughs> and I was like, look, you're gonna love it. So now she sees them out and she raises her blinds up right. and looks at them and it's like, do they need cookies? And I was like, you can offer them cookies. But like they're doing construction on my street now. She's like, hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, come on, guys. And they're like, oh, she's waving at us again. And I was like, I go, it's going to be like that. It's yeah. going to be like that. So yeah. if there's a week where there's more than one car, which is like this week, where they're like stacked up in my driveway, like, yeah. like Good a parking lot. Have, right? Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. She, they go, she goes, so, you know, they're not going to all fit in your driveway this week. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, I'll drive, and then I'll drop one off, and then I'll come back. They'll bring me back. I'll pick yeah. one up and drop it off, pick one yeah. up, another one, and bring it back. And she's like, so, that one I didn't like so much. <laughs> it's a little low to the ground. You know, you're going to have to get in there, and you're going to have to, like, you know, scoot. Yeah. 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 But then that one. That's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, commentary. My neighborhood police, op- my neighborhood police officers are like, <laughs> so that, yeah, that, that one. So this one, they are crushing on. Okay, it's a big daddy truck. Like it's taller than me. It's got a full size cab, like a double cab, right? And it's the limited. It's beautiful. Oh. Okay, and so like my daughter's fifteen, and she's like, Mom, so. I need a new vehicle. And I was, like, <laughs> I was like, first of all, you need to know how to drive. <laughs> Let's start there. That's kind of First important. things first. Yeah. Let's learn how to drive. She goes, I can drive. I can do it. And so I have an old Mercedes and an old Jeep, right? Like, well, it's like 2012 and yeah. then a Jeep, which is mm, 2019. It's okay. It's not, I mean, yeah. it's not. Yeah. As a first car, I'm like, dude, you're doing good. She's oh, like, yeah. mom, I can't even do the hair flip appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> I need an electric vehicle. I said, hold up, soldier. Whoa. (laughs) Hold up, soldier. What are you you talking about? She's like, mom. So I've reviewed, hold on. I can't even do it right. Mom, I've reviewed all these vehicles with you. And they have. Okay. And my kids were by through. through. (laughs) Mom, that didn't have a running board. Uh Oh. And you're like, it really didn't. (laughs) It really didn't. Or... You know, there are no charging ports in the back seat. What am I going to do with no air vents in the back seat? This uh, is Texas. Yeah. yeah. It's like 12,000 degrees. So I'm like, you know, valid. You know, yeah. Valid. Yeah. But then the other ones I said, I touched the button in the seat, which, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, gosh. We y'all... had several of those today. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. another one that was really awesome was Super was cool. Yes. Oh. I mean, okay, so I'm usually we're, we're not a fan. We're crushing pretty hard on the super. Matte paint, I'm Love. usually not, like, a fan of. And, I, like, after a while, I was like, I could do that. Yeah. yeah. I could, like, I could like have that for, like, a while. Yeah. Like, like forever. Yeah. Everybody that I talked to today said something about the paint on the Supra. It's bad call. Yeah. Joe yeah. and Lori Rady were crushing on it pretty I mean, hardcore Because we were well. looking at it, and I was like, yeah. You know, at first I was like, mm, that's going to be high maintenance. I'm like, it's totally worth it. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Totally worth it. Yeah. Um, let's see. The one from Acura. Did y'all get to drive? We did. Okay, yeah. so those seats inside there, did you get in, sit in? So it has this like body cradling experience. Yes. And yes, I was it like does. I was like, shut up. Yes. And then you push that little blue button and get the cooled seats yes. on it. Oh. I was Welcome like, to you, Texas. I was like, it's yeah. gonna be 112 degrees, and I'm gonna be like, sweet mother of mercy. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> but then I like thought about it. So I I pretty much worked my way through because I'm gonna drive tomorrow. Like I drew yeah. good. Let me stop. I drew the ones that I was like, I want you. I uh-huh. want you. Okay, I really want to try you. Yep. And oh, when am I going to get to drive you again? I got to drive you now. So those are the ones I drove today. And then tomorrow, I'm going to get to drive some more. Yep. So I got in the Charger. Mm. 
And I was terrified at first, right? Because <laughs> I, I love the shape of it, mm-hmm. yes. and but the power of it. And I was thinking going, okay, look, you can fit a car seat back there. That'll be fine because I've got one in a booster seat. Right. And this is the kind of things that go through right. my mind. Right. So let me back up. My readers wrote me a note and said, we want more manly vehicles. Okay. End quote. There you I was, go. I was like, <laughs> dude, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm doing the best I can. And I was like, but game on. I yeah. was like, you, okay. you read it, I write it. Right. We'll go find it. Right. So I put a note out to my man, to my manufacturers. I said, look, my guy said that I need more manly vehicles. I need you to like give me some stuff that's like manly. So let's rewind. My first vehicle that I auto reviewed was a Rose Gold Infinity QX. Yeah. Wow. Rose gold. Yeah. It was magnificent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I've never seen a car your color before. <laughs> and they were like, this was fun. Yeah. This is fun. You want to do it again? I was like, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it again. <laughs> so then after that was the Titan. And I thought I was not a truck girl at that point. Titan proved otherwise. Titan proved. Okay. So Titan drew spike traffic 300% on my side. Really? Like it brought guys, it brought moms, it brought dads, wow. it brought all kinds of people. But like the like hero shot of ours was it parked up in the driveway, like with the fence behind it. And I was yeah. like, dude, what do y'all like about this? But then I thought about it. It's like you staring out the kitchen window and you see mm-hmm. this beautiful hunter green beast yep. in your driveway. And it's just smiling. She's like, come on, come on. It's going <laughs> to it. be fun. That's it's it. going to be fun. You don't got to go vacuum. An adventure. You don't got to vacuum. You don't got to put up the groceries. Yeah. It's going to be great. And it like sparked this domino. And then I was like, I could do that. I could do that. You know what? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. It's going to be fun. Um, what else? I found out I was a real, I really like contrast stitching. I'm that person who looks in the car and goes, hmm, that could be fun. Yeah. Yeah. The one that sticks out to me in my yeah. mind was the Pacifica. <gasps> okay. With that caramel in the black. Yes. Oh, man, that was pretty. And quilted leather. Yeah. Oh. I'm just saying. Like, oh, yeah. When did mini brands get upgraded? No kidding. <laughs> No. When kidding. they got this stigma that they were uncool, but uh, there's lots of minivan love and respect here at GT Garage Talk. Uh, absolutely. Because life, we got yeah. ki- we got people, and right. like, we got people, and we got stuff, and that is the best rig for both. And you know what? He's not touching me. She's not touching me. Right. And did y'all move the seats? Absolutely. I was like, Haha, they really don't got to touch me. <laughs> I don't got to. I don't got to do the. There's an invisible wall between you. Yeah. Because I say that kind of stuff. Well, growing up, like the Plymouth Grand Voyager was the vehicle that my parents went and shopped for to stop that argument in yep. our back seat. Was yep. he's on my side? He's doing the. They got us captain seats. Put a bucket of toys in between us and said. We're going to make it to Louisiana, <laughs> deal with it. That was ours. We started with a Suburban, and then we went to the Plymouth. Oh. <clears throat> then we went to another Suburban, and then my mom got an Escalade for a while. Oh. And then she took off the f- side of it on the fence because yeah. our gate closed like this. Oh. And so I remember my dad goes, <laughs> that, there's no mirror on the side. And I remember thinking, going, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble. He said, there's no mirror on the side. And she's like, you know, it just kind of went somewhere. <laughs> it was she went there. It was laying down in the driveway. <laughs> and so, yeah, like that's how that went down. But then I learned on an old Subaru. It was, how I, it was my first like real car. And I used to take it to Wichita Falls because I went to Midwestern. And it used to stop at the stop sign, like turn all the way off. And you, <laughs> Before start stop was a thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so you had to turn it back on because you were at the stop sign and it would turn off. And you'd be like, look, I mean. And so like finally after a while, like my mom's like, you've got to buy a car. You cannot be this cheap. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not trying to be this cheap, but you know, I'm in college and they don't make any money, blah, 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 blah. And then I got a Toyota Camry. And that thing drove me from DC to Dallas, yep. Houston, Dallas, yeah. all over creation back again. And I was like, oh, Toyota reliability. reliability, that's a thing. It's a thing, it's a real legit thing. Yeah. Then let's see, what else was awesome? Mm, oh, the Odyssey. Did y'all get in it today? 
I so, really enjoyed the Odyssey. Matt and I took the uh, minivan challenge that y'all issued to us. We yes. did. Because we had Honda Odyssey, which is refreshed for 2021. We had the all-new for 2021 Toyota Sienna that is hybrid across the board. And then we had several, I think three Chrysler Pacificas, which is also refreshed for Hello. 2021. Hello, leather. Oh, yeah. yeah. To be like high friends. Oh. And, and so Matt and I had completely opposite rankings of those three. Really? Yeah. Completely with the same middle tier. So of the three, uh, for, so I'll, I'll go ahead and tell our listeners. Okay. And, and this is as much a shock to me as anyone else. I had uh, Toyota, okay. Chrysler, Honda. Okay. And You like, had the exact opposite? I had yeah. the exact the Odyssey opposite. Odyssey and then Odyssey first, Chrysler, and Chrysler, and then the Chrysler and Pacifica, and then the Sienna. Okay, so what, like, when you said... Oh, you're awesome. You're the first one. Even though, like, really think about it, like, any minivan now is, like, so far upgraded from the stuff we grew up with. Oh, my goodness, yes. Yes. Basically, the minivan I grew up in was a maroon box. People hauler. With tan interior. And it... It didn't even have the double side doors. I, it, just, <laughs> it had the passenger sliding door. Yeah. That was it. Like uh, when they upgraded to sliding doors on both sides, I said, "What? Yeah. Like, Mom what? and Dad, why did we wait a second? Why did we get this? Look at this!" But yeah. so the thing that sold me on the Toyota first and foremost is probably what kind of irked you a little bit, Matt. Okay. Uh, so they're hybrids across the board, mm-hmm. and fuel efficiency is a big thing for Toyota. Uh, as they designed this new Sienna. And, and over-the-air updates. Right. Yeah. And they were telling me, as near as makes no difference, 600 miles on a tank of gas. We live in Texas. If you want to go anywhere, it's a trek. Yeah. So, like, the the distance in which you can travel in that, just, that was a number that stuck with me. And then mm-hmm. the sheer openness of the cabin, there were so many places to put things and then the piece de resistance <laughs> on top of the cake. Your French is coming out. I know. Was the shifter. Thank the Lord it had a proper shifter because Agreed. the Honda had buttons and the Chrysler had a dial. Yeah. And, and I, I'm, I'm not here for so that. So I had, that was my thing today. Okay. So like I told myself, I'm going to open my mind mm-hmm. and I'm not going to stick with what I know. Yeah. And I'm right. not going to prejudge a vehicle that does not have... I need a, a little bit regular, more regular, <laughs> like the traditional shifter, because I'm comfortable with it, and I know how where how to turn the car on, yep. and I know how to get out of park. Because sometimes life, and you're like, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I got in the car, and y'all probably know I'm not going to say the name. And I looked, and I said, "Dude, where do you turn this car on?" At? <laughs> yep. and, and I couldn't figure it out but like i was kind of embarrassed because like i was literally (laughs) in like by that point 30 vehicles right and i (laughs) sat there and i looked and the guys who were like coming to help like who were literal badasses yeah (laughs) okay who were coming to help and be like look you look confused (laughs) (laughs) you look like you need a little bit of help that's what he was like he's like so help me understand what you're going through right now and he said it so diplomatically (laughs) Help me understand what you're going through. (laughs) You're staring at the steering wheel, and you're looking at it, and you keep looking at that, and you're looking at the middle, and you're looking again, (laughs) and then nothing happens. So apparently I've been doing it for a minute, because they they still didn't know what was going down. I was like, I can't figure out how to turn turn it on. And so I looked, and they finally said, on the side. Yeah. It's on the side. I was like, I was like, crap. <laughs> okay, so I turned it on. And then it was drive. Yeah. Where's drive? Right. So <laughs> they've got like a new thing. Mm-hmm. But then like once I did it, it was beautiful. Yeah. Right. But like I needed a manual. That's like with the Maki. Yep. Okay, I stood outside and I was like, so. Where's the door handle? Where's the door handle? <laughs> there are none. Right? You press the button and yep. you wait for the thing to pop out and then you open the door. So I recorded the video. My family saw it and they're like, we know how to get in the car. We don't have to stay in here and look interesting like you. And that's how they say I would it. Make look them interesting. Suffer. Look interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I just stood there. I was like, right. Like I've been in cars all damn day long. And I'm looking. I don't know. And then you go, and right? And so if you come the day before, you get, like, training on the off-road course. Yeah. Those guys are awesome. Okay? They because are. Because I was that person. Jason and his team are, yeah. 
I was the person who got the one car stuck. Okay? <laughs> oh no. I was that one. They were like, just push the gas. Push the gas. And so when I finally did it right, they cheered for me like I was Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, she did it. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I was like, so, like, the guys from Toyota and then the guys from Nissan were like, we can do this. Yeah. And it became like a source of pride that I could get up the hill because yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. and I was like, nope. Then the second time, the car went, whoop. And I was like, so, if the car actually makes it up the hill and it actually does it and you can actually do it by yourself, you're going to be fine. Okay. <laughs> I got a pretty good video of you at the truck radio taking the big hill in the tundra, that massive tundra. So, it was awesome. Yeah. That was like after I got one stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so the celebration was like true it, and heartfelt. It was, yeah. it was heartfelt yeah, because absolutely. I had got one stuck <laughs> and I was like, so if I get these vehicles stuck, what's going to happen? Like if we break it, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, legit, is it going to, am I going to be, like, in trouble? <laughs> He's like, well, how can you get in trouble? And I was like, I don't know. Okay, so I don't know if you know that this happened, but I was down by some of the toughest off-road course <laughs> obstacles taking pictures uh, when one of the two TRXs uh, was trying to make the big hill. Ooh. And I actually saw them not be able to crest it because they didn't modulate the throttle right that thing it human the, error right it was all human error because that thing had the power the clearance and the everything to make it up that hill mm -hmm. they tell you what to do they tell you the line to take and you take it and it, it's no problem it's like baking a cake okay right. sometimes people can jack it up but you're that's like true. look that cake failed that's it. It fell that's in the it. middle but, yep so they couldn't quite make it up so they backed it down that massive hill mm -hmm. and the and I love it as a design theme. The dual exhaust that sits, sticks straight out the back caught the dirt and was pointed Ooh. down. And I just said, no, they didn't just bend the exhaust in an $80,000 truck that we aren't even supposed to be talking about yet at this event. I know. And then it was embargoed. And like, yeah. I had my, we had the little GoPro up, right. right? And so I had GoPro and then I had my mom because she never believes that I'm gonna do this because I am literally the person who parks in valet and I'm like, look, don't break it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't break it. She's like, you're not going off road. And I said, I am, I'm doing it. Like me, right. she's like, no, <laughs> really. So I, you had to prove it live. I had to prove it live, right? Because she didn't believe it. And so she goes, she goes, I think you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, called getting, out. And she did. Getting tips from if, the one if, who if you, just misplaced the window on the if Escalade. If you ever get too big for your britches and you forget, like, where your world is. Just call your mama. Not just the mama. Call uh -oh. your family and they'll be oh, like, yeah. look. Yeah. But, then, but then you'll be call like. Call your teenage Then daughter. you'll be like, look, we need, to, we need to fight the world. Game on. <laughs> yeah. Game on. Let's do this. So we got there. And, like, when they mentioned that well, that's what we were doing and we talked to the insurance guy, we were like. So, we got this plan. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to try a new off-road course. It's never been done yet. And they're like, so, having people are you going to have? And we're like, it's going to be fun. They're like. <laughs> 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 so, you always know it's going to cost more when they start laughing, like when right. we talk to them about it. They're like. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was, like I was telling Matt, he was talking about some of the hotel rooms overlooking the track. And I was like, dude, if you had to ask, you don't want to know. You don't yeah. want to know. Uh, just, yeah. Uh -huh. You don't want to know. But then you're like. I really do want to know. I want to sit <laughs> right, up right. and like watch planes come in and then watch cars race down right, the track. Absolutely right. Because yeah. like I'm that person. I'm like, can you just move me up a couple floors? <laughs> right. Because like from my room here, you can look across the track, yep. look at it. And I'm like, hi, yep. hi world. It's yes. awesome. Yep. So today I watched the golfers come up, right? But then there were people trying to ride the golf carts up this thing. And I'm like, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I've conquered a hill and a TRX and right? a Tundra. Like yes. <laughs> See? It's such an empowering moment. When y'all get time, there is this course in Atlanta. And it's the right. Porsche Center. Okay. And so you go in and you go ride, right? That was my very first time on a track, like in my entire life. I was terrified. First, I didn't know what to wear. Let's start there. Because... <laughs> Because the cars, right? right. You know, yeah. you need to be dressed appropriately. And so I came up in my cowboy boots and Texas. So, so today I have on like low free tennis shoes and right. they, yeah. they were proud of me. So our people, because I usually wear heels, right? And they okay. were like, okay, you need to wear comfortable shoes. So I was yeah. like, I'm going to wear some low free tennis shoes. And they were like, are those tennis shoes? And I was like, these are tennis shoes. He goes, those 
aren't going to run anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hey, you know what? It's not a heel. It's flat. That's yeah. right. We're going to do this. So right. we get to the Porsche Center and Scotty had a Girls Got Cars. They worked up a program for people who had never been on track. And so, like, I tell my mom and my sister, I was like, hey, I need y'all to watch the kids. I'm going to the Porsche Center. She goes, why? <laughs> <laughs> I go, I got to learn how to drive on track. Yeah. And that's how they positioned it. You've got to learn how to drive on track. And I was like, so drive on track. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Uh -huh. So, because we have Devil's Bowl and Mesquite, right? Okay. So, you know, you go mud bike and then you do right. things like yeah. that, yeah. which yeah. is totally not the same thing. No. no, no. So we get there, right? And they do this class and it's this beautiful room. So let's back up. Okay. I get out to the front and I'm like, oh, that's on Avengers. The, they filmed the movie there. It's the Stark building. No way. Yes, Ray. And I said, shut up. Ugh. So I look and I was like, Stark for a minute. Yeah, we're going. You gotta go. Oh, we gotta go. And I look and I was like, shut up. Hmm. Hmm. So we get out and I'm like, oh yeah. Of course I trip over the curb, get up there, it's fine. <laughs> so the security guy comes running out. Ma'am. Check your ego. Ma'am, it's okay. You're fine. I was like, you just ran. I watched you. <laughs> <laughs> I watched you run across the sidewalk. And then he goes, it's going to be fine. Just go in, you know, doll do yourself up again. You'll be fine. And we get in. <laughs> and we go. And then you go into this classroom. And the, the whole screen is the entire wall. Right. Oh. And I was like, huh. And they're like, so you do these lessons. And they practice you. And then they're like, well, you, some of y'all need to go in the simulator. That would be me. And then some of you can already go out and drive. And so you get an instructor to ride with you, right? And they ask you about all these questions. And then you pick from world-class buildings. Nope, no, no. That's mine. That's oh. you. Yes, please. <laughs> can I get one more? Uh, Shiner. Ooh, yeah, Shiner. Thank you. <laughs> um, so you get, to, they like line them up like, well, like crayons. Right. Yeah. And they're like, so this one's a 911, you know? And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> him especially. So, oh. like, I, I kind of, like, I was starstruck by the car, right? Right. Yeah. I was like, so they walk you in through the museum part, and you see, like, the heritage, mm -hmm. and you see the mm -hmm. legacy. And then you, like, some of the designers are standing, and they're there, willing and happy to ta answer questions. Oh. I was just grinning. I, like, couldn't get the, like, Cabbage Patch doll grin off my face. That was me all day that today. Was, see, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yes. Oh. And I was grinning and cheesing. I was like, oh, my gosh, when are we going to get to do this again? <laughs> and so she goes... So, ma'am, you get to drive four. What would you like to drive? I was like, four? I would have been happy with just one. One. <laughs> one. Oh. So you go through, and so we slid all the way. Like, I got out doing right first because it was fine. And I got over my starstruckness. But then we hit a patch of water, and we were going about 85, and that sucker slid. And I was like, oh, blank. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I'm about to check up the car. <laughs> I mean, the driver was just chill. He goes, it's fine. It's just a 2020. I said, <laughs> just, just a 2020. He said, it's just perspective. A, it's all about it's, perspective. He said, it's just a 2020. It'll be okay. Just relax, mm -hmm. breathe. And I was like, I like wanted to cry, right? Because I was like, we slid and when we were fine, but right. like the cars, I mean, I, you made that sound, you know, that sound that cars maybe you press the brake real hard and it's, Yep. And you're like, crap, we're going to hit the thing, and we're going to go down, the, and it's going to crunch the car. It's going to be bad. He was like, oh, it's fine. It's just a 2020. And I was like, you are way too chill, guy. <laughs> so then they take you up, and then you go um, up this like off-road course, and they make you switch cars. So we got in a Cayenne. And then All they right. go, oh, we're going to stick it in 24 inches of water. And I was like... I'm not trying to die. You know that sign that says, turn around, don't drown? Right. That's the sign I was like thinking of in my head. And I kept yeah. saying, I was like, it says, turn around, don't drown. He's like, you're going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and so. <laughs> Controlled course. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. Turn around, don't drown. Yeah. yeah it does not compute everything right. you've been told to that point in your life. Turn, turn around, around, don't, don't drown. drown. And I was like, okay, so this car cost a lot. If we drown. <laughs> I was like, did that waiver <laughs> cover did, me? Did it cover me? Right. Is it gonna like give money to my kids, or is it just <laughs> like saying I'm not? They're not gonna sue you. And so we did it, and we went down in it. I heard the water slush against the outside, 
I was like, ooh, chug a nugget. <laughs> and we were going down. And then it did, and we sat there. We didn't just drive through. We sat there. And he was just talking to me about his life. And I was like, look, we got to go, guys. Yeah. Like, like we're friend, sitting in water. <laughs> we're sitting here. Like, the thing is going to keep going. And you go up. Time of day. And then that's what reminded me what the power of a vehicle is. Yep. Okay? So, y'all, did y'all drive the Escalade today? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, the power of a vehicle. You get in a vehicle and you feel an experience. Yes. Right? Exactly. And I was like, good Lord. Like, there's a vehicle for whatever you want to feel. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to feel... <laughs> like a baller. Escalade. You can find it. Uh -huh. You want to feel like you're raised up off the ground and you can conquer any hill? You can find it. You want to get in a car so tight that you're like, oh, I need to go on a diet? You can do that as well. <laughs> yeah. And then there were others that I was like looking at. I was like, you know, you, not that special. But then I got in and I was like, oh, I totally underestimated you. Yeah. And those are the ones I'm going to write about next week because awesome. I was like, look, you friends, you have not been getting enough love. You need love some it. love. I love it. So we'll see I, how that goes. So I have a confession to make. Okay. Confess I, away. Yeah. I may or may not have been the person who left 300 foot long black <laughs> marks <laughs> on the track today. I know where you are. <laughs> I know where you are. <laughs> I have video proof that he was doing what, was, was he, what he was instructed doing to do. what I was told. He said, all right, we're going to pull up here. And I want you to punch it. And I said, Matt it? He said, yeah, go for it. So And I put it on the floor. Our driver, my son called right in the middle, right? And so <laughs> she was holding my phone because I wasn't holding. I've learned my lesson now. <laughs> um, phones are hands off. Right. Hands off. Right. So she answered my phone. Um, and he goes, oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> 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 okay, she had her helmet on. Yes. He said, oh. And I was like, so I'm over here leisurely driving like Daisy. So right. if y'all saw the charger go around and it was like moving real slow, that was me. Because <laughs> my son is going, oh, she's so beautiful. And I was like, Lord, he's going to be that guy. And he goes, she looks like the Lego race car driver. And she's real. And I was like. Okay, guy. Okay. He goes, don't hang up. Don't hang up. I just want to say hi. And I was like, he goes, okay, show me car. And so we showed the car, you know, and then we got out and she took the helmet off. And he goes, oh, uh. mommy, look, she's for real. I was like, I was like, she, and I was like, he's done in. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. He, she, he races, like, so Lego has these little race car people, right? Mm -hmm. And we go to the Lego store. So he races his on a tractor because that's my life. Right. And so <laughs> he looked and he's like, you know, he ran and I could hear little feet pattering around the hallway. And I was like, what is he doing? Right. Cause he was supposed to be on online class. And I was like, you know, I, that's the time it was happening because yeah. hello life. And he was supposed to be on class, but he right. was instead calling me. And I was like, dude, can you not get on your class? Are you locked out again? Like what happened? Cause if you like press the button too much, <laughs> Teacher yeah. kicks you out. So <laughs> that's who he is. Yeah. He's like, oh, if you just seen the delight on his face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he went and found his little Lego girl. And he was like, she's real. <laughs> You're with her. She's real. And it was okay that I was gone because she was real. That's nice. awesome. And I was nice. like, oh, my gosh. He's never, ever again going to want, like, anything else. Yeah. Because he, like, I've firmly set his like standard for what it is right because like a racer girl like a racer girl so he, yeah. she had the helmet on and he's like yeah helmet okay we're good <laughs> this is like this is like the lego we're all on the same page and so my dad showed him the video and so it was the one i never make the smoke come out right oh. ever okay because i know those bad boys are 500 bucks a tire right <laughs> and even though on a good day on a good day <laughs> And so, like, my neighbors have informed me that, you know, if you mess up the tires, you kind of mess up the rims. Because yeah. I came to auto without the auto education. So, literally, I ask everybody. I'm like, dude, okay, tell me your story. Why did you pick that car? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you want it? Yeah. Where did you buy it? Did you love it? Were they, like, jerks? Or were they, like, you'd recommend your friend? And so, like, I have this book of recommendations right. from literally pretty much Everyone. everybody I meet. And... The Charger and Challenger are ones that, like, get these cult followings. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, people fall in love. And yeah. I'm like, 
dude, really? <laughs> really? Yeah. And so I was like, okay. So when one comes, they're like this. I mean, you will see my neighbors walk out and go, mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. But they're doing construction on my street right now. So you only get to see us come out the gate. Right. And so I have like the Dutch and Dodge construction crew. And they're like, yeah, that one, that one, <laughs> that one. Yeah. So I cannot wait to see what they say about the Durango. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Because so have y'all joined Clubhouse or both y'all in Clubhouse? Yeah, You're I on am, Clubhouse. I, yeah. Not yet. Do you see my Do you see my eyebrow? I see him. Do you mean me invite you? I, I'll invite him. We'll, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get bring, there. bring him in. I, so, people will like tell you about their cars, and I just sit and take notes. And then after I hear enough of them about them, I'm like, I will go find the manufacturer of the vehicle and be like, "Look, friend, this is what people are saying. I need to know if that's real. Is yeah. that real?" And they'll be like, oh, "Maybe." Or why don't you try it out and figure it out for yourself? There you go. At first, I used to think that was a sarcastic answer. Now I know that's an opportunity to be like, game, set, match. That's yeah. it. Let's yeah. do this. That's it. So we did it. Like Durango, Challenger, that SRT group, the Hellcat. People, <sighs> I mean, literal cult following. Yes. They will stalk those things. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we were watching, and this one guy is souping them up. First of all, I don't think it needs to be souped up to begin with. <laughs> not, not really, it, no. No, you know, it already yeah. comes factory, like, boss. Right, right. And I was like, look, friend, look, yeah. why are you souping them? They're souping them up and they're racing them. And I was like, why? So there's <laughs> this thing called first on, parked on first in Dallas. And I was like, interesting. So this guy on Clubhouse referred me, and I was like, eh, I think I'll do drive-by. But, you know, I don't know if I'm going to show up. Yeah. Right. He goes, just drive-by. So they had all the exotics lined up first. Oh. And I was like, shut up, friend. Mm -hmm. They got out the car. They are old enough to be my child. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, um, whatever. <laughs> so I just did drive by and I looked. And then I came back later in the day. And it's, I'm calling them dad mobiles. Souped up minivans. Souped oh. up Durangos. Yeah. And they've done all kinds of stuff to them. They've wrapped them and they've done different things. Okay. First, I had judgment. Not going to lie. Right. I was like, dude, seriously. <laughs> seriously. It's because you're tired. And you probably need a nap. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. You probably need a nap. Yeah. And then we got to talk and I was like, oh, you're kind of badass. <laughs> you know, okay, I see you. I see you in your world. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Everybody's still waiting for the Hellcat Pacifica. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think it's coming. Like, I feel like it's coming. I feel like it's going to be one of those limited edition things. Oh, yeah. They'll do like 12 of them. And they'll, <laughs> they will sell them oh, for double the price. Yeah. And people will yeah. be like this. Yep. They'll be like, bring it on. Yep. So, so Lance will be like, yep. come on, bring me your money. I <laughs> got it. you. I got you. So like I was supposed to get a elusive car today and it got broken on the way here. Oh. And so like, hence I got to go home later on and drop something off and pick something else up. And had I planned better, I wouldn't have to, but whatever. And so I was like, huh. They were like, well, you know, it's limited edition. This is what I feel about limited edition. You need to make enough for people who want it to get jack right. stuff fixed. Right. Yes, okay? absolutely. So if you don't got enough to fix it, hang tight. You know, yeah. ho hold it, yep. tease people with it, give them just a little bit, show them teaser, teaser, yep. teaser. Don't actually give them vehicles until you got the stuff to fix it because if I had actually bought one, which I did put my deposit down. Oh, and, right. okay, so like, since I started auto riding, like I have a collection and I'm like, my mom's like, look, you got a problem right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you used to buy purses and now you buy cars. <laughs> and was, it's a slightly more expensive habit. It's a much more expensive habit. <laughs> and she's like, so, and I figured out, I can do Facebook Marketplace, yeah. I can do Auto Trader, I can do all, I can, you know, swap cars and be like, look, okay, you can take, this price i'll give you like a yeah. thousand on yeah. top of that and let's roll and i know it's a problem i'll work on it <laughs> i love it I, that's he's exactly in the same boat. yeah he's i'm in there the same boat. i'm right there with and, you and so like i'm like yeah because i get them like we get the new ones but i've got like old car crush yeah which is my thing my daughter wants an electric car and i'm all twelve thousand percent electric but i need her to know how to work a gas car right I need right. to know how to do gas. I need to know how to do change oil. I need to know how to do like, oh, that check engine light came on. Okay, what, what's the <laughs> what, problem? What next? Yeah. yeah, I need her to know all those things because electric cars don't have those same issues. But yeah. there's a distinct possibility, you know, this learning curve we got there. Like, oh, we're gonna go electric in ten years. Mm. Okay, 
y'all can't see my eyebrows, but I got definite eyebrows about that. Um, we both do as well. Because <laughs> it's life. You know, I need her to know that. So, yeah. like, part of today was, like, scouting, Gry. Right? We gave her a budget. And it's a decent budget. Yeah. Like, you know, less than 30 is what the goal is. Right. So what we said. Like, yeah. look, you're going to do this. And so she sells her art to, like, pay for her insurance and nice. pay 150 on her car bill. Awesome. And so she goes, Mom. So at first she wanted the Maki. So like right now I have the F-150. And she's like, Mom, the F-150 is nice, but it's a little big and it's kind of hard to park for me. But she's a 5'10". Right. Did you see her yesterday? She was yeah. here. Yeah. She's a tall, yeah. Yeah, she's gorgeous, but she's oh, tall. Yeah. So any little bitty car, so I had the, like a Mustang <laughs> and I had a little sporty car. She's like this with her knees at the steering wheel. And I'm like, I'm like, Sonora. She's like, I want this car. I was like, sweetheart. You don't want to yeah. live like that. I was like, you can't live crunched up. You've yeah. got to be able to spread your legs out in the car. Like, you got to be able to drive like that. So she's like, well, I want an SUV. <laughs> that's electric. And I was hair like, flipping all. Hair that's flipping all. And yeah. I was like, I was like, that's over your budget. Over your budget. And she's like, but mom, budgets are flexible. <laughs> uh, you went for a world hurt. <laughs> I was, like, oh. I was like, budgets aren't flexible, dear. Dear, you need to either make more money or it's not flexible. And so it's a whole process. Like, I cannot wait. So, like, my goal for next year's Auto Roundup, I want a true EV component is my goal. Okay. Um, I'm here for it. I want it. I want to see it. I want to see what the automakers can bring. I want to see, like, how far tech has come by then. Yeah. Because there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of smoke. There is. So much talk I'm in the so market. I'm so over right. the talk. There's, really, yeah. there's, are people who are just playing around in the game, yeah. but they're not bringing forth any fruit with it. I'm like, right. look, okay, you want to talk? Bring me, a, show me a vehicle. That's right. it. Show me a vehicle that can get me from Dallas to Waco without range anxiety. Yep. Exactly. I do not want to have, and I've had this experience. No, I'm talking Tyler to Houston without range anxiety. Come Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've been stuck. I've been that person who drove one and got stuck between mm. cities. And I was like, look, I am stuck here with my kids. Like, because we do this, like we get in a car and let's see, I've shorted one car out with a nebulizer. That was fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's one where we were at the rodeo and the windshield got broke. Oh. And I, it was terrifying. First, the windshield like went, and I was like, but it didn't break. It just made that sound and yeah. shattered into a bunch of pieces. And I was like, Whoa. I was like, huh. <laughs> is That's it, different. <laughs> is it going to stay like this? Right. <laughs> Am I going to be able to get home with it like this? And so I called and I was like, so I got to tell you bad news. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun call to make. <laughs> I was horrified. Oh. Right. Because it was my first luxury vehicle that I'd ever reviewed. And they brought it from somewhere else to bring it to me. And I was like, first I was like, okay, one. Like, our audience is skewed. So we have people who are buying cars that are in 20s. We got people who are buying cars in 150s. Yeah. yeah. And it's literally skewed like that. And But the thing is comments. Okay, people will write some comments. And you're like, look, you wouldn't say that to my face. Because uh -huh. if you said that to my face, I'd probably punch you. Okay? <laughs> like, you wouldn't say that in real life. Because the anonymity of the internet. Yeah. Yeah, that bravery, you know, yeah. that shield that you get. And you're like, look, I can say whatever I want. I'm like, look, come, come on. Come talk to me. Uh -huh. And I've learned now to take a step back. To pause yes. before I respond. And sometimes I don't even respond. Sometimes I just like, uh. But then you get your cult following vehicles. It brings traffic. It brings commentary. It brings instant messages, like DMs. Yeah. It brings people saying all kinds of random stuff. Hey, Sean. And you're like, all right, friend. All right. I got you. Yeah. Stop talking to me. But I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. But stop talking. And so you do it, and you're like, that was that one. Then we got rear-ended in another mm. car. Oh. And it pushed us all the way into an intersection. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And so the guy who hit the car was, like, terrified, yeah. right? He was like, I hit this car with all this woman, this woman and these kids. And, and, and I was like, yeah, dude, like, give me your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. The car was fine. Yeah. Uh, the car I was in was Jericho. beautiful. I was like. You wrote a blog about that. I did write it. And yeah. I was surprised because I really thought that car was going to get messed up. And it didn't. It, like, so what it did was it made me go and do some re more research behind it. Right. It has this impact diversion system. Uh, so from first impact to second impact to third impact, 
that it disperses the energy around the vehicle. Wow. And disperses it through it so that your inner cabin people are held like in a cocoon. Wow. And then outside around the vehicle is where it disperses the energy to. So me and my kids didn't feel it inside. Like I heard the tap and I heard that crunching sound and that weird braking sound Ugh. where cars yeah. compact ABS and, yeah. all that stuff. and the little dust was flying up yep. and so like i looked back and it was all dust and i could see it and the guys it was right in front of a tire shop so the guys from the tire shop came running down and they were like it's okay it's okay and i was like what what what, 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 what happened <laughs> you know and you were sitting there but the car set the sensor system off and it's what made me realize why tech is the way it is now and yeah. i was like Holy crap! Had this been another vehicle, yeah, like because I have a Mercedes that's about eight years old, and the tech is not the same from eight years to now. Nope, it's beautiful and absolutely stunning. And I was just like, "This is holy crap!" So just think like now. So the vehicles we drove today, think yeah. what's coming next. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Tia, we could sit here and literally talk all night with <laughs> oh, you, yeah, but definitely. I know you alluded to, you've got some things to do tonight, so I gotta run. we don't want to hold you too long. Why don't you let all our listeners know the best places to find you and uh, we will be sure and share this with you so you can share it with your audience. And, yeah. we'll, and we'll do it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And we can, we do virtual. Uh, this is like our first in person and we're, we're all here for it. It's, <laughs> I like That's it. That's fun. So you can find me on Instagram at Tia Collier. You can find me on Dallas Single Mom. Yeah. Or you can just find me here. Yeah. They'll tag me. And yeah. we'll be like, hey, We fans. will put links That's down it. in the show notes for all you podcast listeners. So Yay. thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and sitting with us today, Tia. Most thank definitely. you, so thank welcome. you, thank you for the y'all. auto roundup. Oh, that was you're awesome. so welcome. This is so, awesome. Yes. I'm so Very glad fantastic. y'all came. Yes. Thank, thank you. you so much. Appreciate it, y'all. All right. Have a fun evening. Thanks. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Whew. So that was a long one. It was a fun one. Uh, She's a talker, right, Matt? Oh, yeah, I, definitely. I, I warned you about her. Uh, and and she reminds me very much of a mutual friend of ours uh, in Meredith. I don't oh, know yeah, if you yeah. got that vibe as we were talking to her. So instantly, she was like a close friend to both of us. Definitely, and yeah. I hope that came across just in our conversation. Uh, it was as, a lot of fun. As we had her on the podcast. We are very grateful for her taking the time and sitting down with us on location at the Texas Auto Riders Auto Roundup. And we're, like I said, very grateful for her and her efforts putting that event together. And we have got tons of content coming down the pipeline. I think one of the ones I'm most excited about is the van shootout. That was a lot of fun. (laughs) That was surprisingly fun. You know, you and I have joked a lot about the minivan respect we have here on the channel. And we even have a shirt on our website, Minivan Respect. And that was a fun event to get i'm just sad that we couldn't take them all out at once we had to yeah. you know pick and choose two and sure. then you know the chrysler got to hang along uh it, it, it was a very interesting ranking that we came down to and i, I don't want to spoil well, it yeah, here. Well, yeah yeah so head well, on I, over to gtgarage.com to see exactly how that one ends but definitely uh, I'll, I'll say this at least if you are in the market for a new vehicle and you're thinking Nah, I don't, I don't need, I don't want a van. I don't, you know, go drive one. Yeah. Go pick one. Go drive one. I, we, we had there the Odyssey, the Sienna and the Pacifica. Um, and all of them were incredible. Yes. It was really hard to rank them, which is why ours don't match. They don't. And, and we'll, well leave the, it. One of them. Does. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it at that. But, <laughs> um, and it was for totally different things and it's perfectly acceptable because the things that stood out to me on one completely overshadowed the things that kind of nagged you on the other and vice versa. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it was a fun experience. And one more thing that I will give Tia credit for because it is starting to shape this channel as a whole Oh yeah, is that idea of check your preconceived notions at the door because, again, at a vehicle event like this where you do have a half-million-dollar Rolls-Royce Ghost <laughs> sitting next to a $20,000 economy box, right? it's very easy to look down at that economy box and think, you know, well, I don't want to drive that or there's not going to be any value in that or, or whatever. But 
you and I have long said, we even created a car show around this idea that every car serves a purpose and tells a story. Yeah. And so as a reviewer, I have to constantly remind myself to check my preconceived notions at the door and maybe bring them along for commentary's sake. Right. But to give a truly unbiased, fresh take on a vehicle, yeah, check those preconceived notions at the door and drive that vehicle that maybe you would never have thought you would enjoy driving in the first place. All right. So if somebody walked up to you and was going to hand you the keys to a vehicle, right? no questions asked, right? right? Are you taking the ghost or the venue? Well, that one's very tough in that, uh, do I have to maintain it? Do I have to, <laughs> <laughs> do I have to upkeep it? Is it? Does it have to go up my driveway? How long do I get to keep it? Yeah. Uh-huh. So I, I keep bringing up the venue and the ghost because, one, the ghost was half a million dollar sticker price and yeah. sticker shock, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and You could like, buy like eight venues. Right. <laughs> the, the paint color on that one was like $12,000, and it was silver. So just... Yes, mind blowing opulence. And, you know, from what I know of the brand, I drove the colon in. Yeah. Uh, I know the brand is very prestigious and very upscale, and, and I get it. And that is for a totally different consumer. Oh, yeah. But I also keep bringing up the venue because I did have a preconceived notion of that one that was completely shattered. And what was funny was when we took that venue out it was one of two vehicles so you drove that one first and then we swapped yeah and when i sat down in it i was like this was way more than i had expected (laughs) from this little car what what did i tell you when we were swapping i said you're gonna love the interior you're gonna love it and i do have a navy blue problem so (laughs) yes uh that you got me hook line and sinker on that one so Again, huge, huge thanks to Tia. You can find her work and what she does, DallasSingleMom.com. She's also involved in many, many, many other channels and outlets. And we will put the links for all of those down below as best we can. Because like I said, she, she's she got a lot of irons and a lot of different fires. She's a busy lady. She stays busy and, and we thank her for it. But uh, we totally thank Tia for coming on. If you want to find out more of what we are driving and what we are doing head on over to gtgaragetalk.com your one-stop shop for all things gt garage talk until next time bye